Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Jerry Views back with another video and I have some more jailbreak tweaks for you guys. In this video, I will show you 50 free jailbreak tweaks compatible with iOS 11. So there are a lot of tweaks to cover. I will go through them quickly so it doesn't take a lot of time. Let's get started. Enjoy the video. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Let's get started. Force in picture. This tweak will bring picture in picture on iOS 11 on your iPhone, just tap there and you can see it will detach the video. So now you can move it anywhere you want. So on the home screen here, I can resize it and I have the controls right here. If I want to close it, just tap the X button right there and you can close the video. Hide labels 10, a simple one makes your device look way cleaner by removing the labels from the icons on the home screen. To install it, you will need to add a repo, which of course can be found in the description of the video. Lock screen custom text allows you to set a custom text here on the lock screen. Instead of press to unlock, you will have any custom text that you want. You can set that by going to the settings of this tweak. Just enable it here and enter any text you want here. Icon renamer. This tweak will allow you to rename any of the icons on your home screen. All you have to do is just go to the edit mode and then just tap on the icon like this and it will show you this pop-up where you can rename that icon to anything you want. Quick power mode. This is a very useful one. You can turn on the low power mode or turn it off simply by tapping the battery indicator on the status bar just like that and as you can see I can turn on or off the low power mode. Unlock Vol. This tweak will allow you to adjust the volume of your device directly from the lock screen. Normally you will be able to do that just on the home screen or of course when you're on an app but with this tweak installed you will be able to do it even when your device is locked. Time format is a pretty cool one. It allows you to change the time format on the status bar right here. So after you enable this tweak, you can tap here on format and tap here date formatting and it will take you to a page where you can choose between different formats, copy them and paste them on the settings of the tweak and then you will have that on the status bar. Simple passcode buttons allows you to customize the look of the keypad right here on your lock screen so you can remove everything from the buttons of course the buttons still have that same function but they will just be plain status folder if you have noticed once you open a folder on your device the status bar will be gone but with this tweak installed you will still have the status bar even if you're within a folder auto rotate this tweak will enable rotation on the home screen of your ios 11 device you can see just like this it goes on the landscape mode and it will also rotate the icons on the dock but keep the dock on the place here folder 6 plus this tweak will bring the folders from the bigger iphones the plus iphones to your regular iphone so you will have a 4x4 layout on the folders so you can see here four icons instead of three ipad cam for iphone this tweak will bring the ipad ui of the camera app to your iPhone as you can see you have all the controls right here on the right side then you have the zoom here on the left side it looks pretty cool in my opinion this is way better than the stock camera app of your iPhone minimal hood this tweak will replace the stock iOS volume hood with this minimal one right there on the status bar so if you jump to the settings of this tweak right here you can enable it and then you have different themes to choose from and also you can change the location of the volume hood so you can put it on the side here or on the status bar universal mute this is a really useful tweak so when you mute your device with the mute switch it will mute everything even the background play music so if i'm playing something right here when i switch on the volume mute button right here as you can see it will mute everything on my device most this tweak allows you to change the color of the cursor and this when you select the text you can see that highlight color you can change that to any color you want now by stock this is blue and that's the only color you get but with this tweak installed you can just go ahead and go to the settings of this tweak and pick any color that you want no folder background this is a simple one for the folders what it does it completely removes the background from the folders and you will have just a nice clean look Emoji key. This tweak will replace the dictation button on the keyboard with an emoji button. So if you tap there, you can quickly go to your emojis. So instead of having that dictation button 
which probably most of you don't use at all, you will have this emoji key to quickly go to your emojis. Quick Volume Plus HUD allows you to choose how fast you want to dismiss the volume HUD. So you can see right there how fast it will dismiss. And you, if you go to the settings of the tweak, you have an enable button. And then right here with the slider, you can set the speed of the volume HUD dismiss. Circa, what this tweak does is that it will change the shape of the icons on the home screen right here. You can see all circle icons. So this is not a theme. This is a tweak that you can install and have circle icons on the home screen of your iOS 11 device. Glow badge. This tweak will replace the badges on your iOS 11 device with a glow around the icon. You can see right here, wherever you have notifications, that icon will glow so you can change that color and the amount of glow in the settings of the tweak. Flame, this tweak allows you to customize the Cydia app. So when I open it, it will open the sources page as the default one. You can set any of these. Or for example, if I want to search something, it will add this cancel button right here, which previously previously was not there. So a bunch of imp improvements will be added to the Cydia app from this tweak called Flame. Photo size, on the photos app, when you're selecting photos, it will show you the size of those photos so you can see right here as I select more photos it shows the size of them all combined right here and shows me how many items have I selected. Aporio this tweak will help your device charge faster by enabling the low power mode anytime you're plugging your device to charge so if I plug in my phone right now you can see there the battery indicator it will go to the low power mode and it will charge faster once i remove it it will go back to the normal mode backspace plus this tweak will change the speed of the cursor when you're deleting a word so you tap and hold the backspace button and it will go really slow so that's based on how you set the speed but you can see how slow that does it but if it was just stuck after a few letters it will just completely delete the complete word breadcrumbs away this tweak allows to easily dismiss the breadcrumbs so when you go for for example like here i went from safari to youtube through the link and it will show me the button button here to go back to safari i can just dismiss that by swiping like this and it will remove the brand crumb from the status bar can you like not normally when you whispering your device it will take you directly to the lock screen passcode screen but with this tweak installed it will only take you to your lock screen not to the passcode of course you will have still to enter the passcode if you want to unlock the device search remain time this tweak will show you how much time you have left until you will have to re-sign your jailbreak app so you can see right here search time it shows valid for five days and 22 hours so it will show you the exact time right here and you can know when you need to resign the app clear badges 3d touch 10 allows to easily clear a badge from an icon using 3d touch so all you have to do is just 3d press on an icon and you will have the button right here to clear any badges on any icons of your iPhone on iOS 11. Day and night switch is a fun tweak. It will add a little theme to the switches on your device. So everywhere you go, everywhere you have switches on your device, you will have this day and night theme. So when you turn them off, it's night. When you turn them on, it's day, just like that. It's pretty awesome. A very nice touch to the switches on your iOS 11 device. Detailed battery usage. This tweak will give you extra information about the usage of your battery. So if you go to settings and go to the battery section, you will see the battery levels right here and you will see some more information right here like, like the total drain, active usage and background usage. Everything will be here. Disable lock screen cam. It does what it says. It disables the camera from the lock screen of your iOS 11 device. Dummy Pass. This is a really cool tweak, is a fun one that you can also use to prank someone. Basically what it does is that it will change the place of the numbers here on the passcode on the lock screen. So they all have the same functionality. For example, if I go right here, this is one, this is two, this is three, even though it says four. So they have the same functionality. They will just have different places. First edit bookmark. This is a very useful tweak for the Safari app. It allows you to edit the bookmark link. So if you want to bookmark 
a page what you need to do is just tap on the link right here and you can edit that link normally it won't allow you to do that you can just change the title right there flat safari url will add a new look to the safari app by making the url section flat right here so normally it would be like a bar here where the url is but with this tweak you will only have here plain white it looks pretty awesome and much cleaner front cam on mirror now the camera app of your iphone will add that mirror effect to the pictures that you take with the front facing camera and if you hate that you can remove that effect with front cam on mirror haptic keyboard this tweak will add haptic feedback to the keys of your keyboard so when you're typing something it will give you a haptic feedback Make Respring Great Again is a fun tweak, it will bring back the Apple logo on the Respring screen, so normally right here you would see that loading wheel, but with this tweak you will have back the Apple logo on the Respring screen. No Spotlight Background Mask will remove the background from the icons like this, you can see the app suggestions here, normally they would have a background, or when you search them, when you search something you will have backgrounds on the search results but this will give just a nice clean look no live clock this is a simple one for the home screen it will disable the live clock on the clock icon if you have noticed this is live they move but with this tweak the red one that moves will be disabled no low power alert this tweak will completely remove the low power alert that you get on your device once your battery reaches 20 percent or 10 percent this one will completely disable them no more separators this tweak will give your device a nice clean look by removing all these separators anywhere you see separators on any apps they will be removed and your device will have a nice clean look no page dot seven is a simple one but it makes your device look a little cleaner it will remove the dots from the home page here on the device so normally you would see here the dots that indicate the pages on the home screen but with this tweak they will be gone no share please something really annoying with 3d touch menus on your iphone is that they all have a share button i don't know why they need that but with this tweak that will be gone as you can see here you will only have the buttons that the app offers and not that default share button that all 3d touch menus have Pull to respring. This tweak allows you to respring your device simply by pulling down right here on the settings app. All you have to do is just pull all the way down and it will quickly respring your device. Respring progress. This tweak will add a progress bar to the respring screen. So if you're respringing your device, you will see the progress bar right here. Shy page dots. This tweak will make the page dots disappear, but they will come back once you need them so once you start swiping they will show once you're done they are gone small volume steps this tweak allows you to set how many steps it, it requires for you to turn up or down the volume so how many times you have to tap to turn the volume all the way up the default is 16 but you can set it at a different number so i have set it at 32 so you can more precisely turn up or down your volume so sometimes one up is too much or one down it's too much as well but you can set more steps with this tweak smooth pop this is a simple tweak for the keyboard it adds this nice animation here when you tap the keys on the keyboard it will add a nice fade rather just popping up like roughly they will just go ahead and fade in and out it's pretty cool it will add a nice touch it doesn't have anything to configure system info this tweak will give you detailed information about everything that you need to know about your device so you can find that by going to settings go to general go to the about section and you will find all this extra information also you can set the boot nonce right here using this tweak is very very easy i will have a detailed video on that later today so make sure you stick around for that translucent cydia it will add this nice translucent look here on the cydia app when you install or uninstall packages of course the background will be different based on the wallpaper that you have on your device so that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed all these cool tweaks don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos i will be releasing more tweak videos hopefully 100 tweaks very very soon and also themes lock screen themes lock screen tweaks 
all that cool stuff will be coming pretty soon to my channel so make sure you subscribe to not miss any of those and i see you guys on the next one